Hey, Charlie, wait up. You sure you don't need a few bucks to tide you over? No, I'll be all right. But thanks. I can't get over them firing you like that. Well, it was my shift. Stuff was missing. They go by the book. In touch? Sure. I'll give my best to the guys, huh? You know, that's not the only thing you were wrong about. <laughs> they knew I was the uh, only one on that shift with security clearance for the storage unit. If there's an investigation. I took the fall. Discharge with cause. But, uh, with that in my record, I'll never work security again. You said you were going to take care of me. And I will. Get out of this one, sister. Hey! Oh. Not bad, Mona. You're getting better. <laughs> what do I do now? Nothing come to mind. <laughs> Is this something I should know about? At your age, Melville, I'd hope so. Um, the agents are showing me how to... What happened to you? Nothing. No, seriously, Melville, how did it happen? Vaulting the Berlin Wall? A night jump into uncharted jungle? It was nothing. Helping an old lady across the street? Rescuing a cat from a tree? If you really must know, it was a squash accident. Ah, but the world's a safer place now, right? Put your badge on, and here's your next assignment. I want it on my desk tonight. I'll be in meetings all morning. <laughs> What's the assignment, Bona? Rome? Cairo? Contract on a squash instructor? Uh, it, it's seating arrangements for Mrs. Greenspan's benefit ballet. Oh, there's a job that requires courage and strength and an incredible ability to stay awake. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm way ahead in my paperwork. I, I could do the seating list for you. Oh, thanks, Mona. That's fantastic. Now I can catch up in my work. I do have, um, a favor to ask, though. Who would have thought that Baghdad would suffer from urban sprawl? No, this is serious. I'm serious, and this is personal. Well, it's not me. This friend of mine, her husband has been coming home late, and... Tell her to phone a private detective. This is miscellaneous affairs, not matrimonial. She can't. Her husband has an important position with the energy group. The nuclear power people? Yeah, so this is like a very sensitive case, and I, I am just really worried about her, Adderley, and, and nobody's better at finding out things than you are. Flattery will get you everywhere, Mona. But you have to cover Greenspan for me. Car trouble always works. While you're at it, see if you can get him to requisition me a newer model. Thanks. How long has this been going on, Mrs. Fields? Started about a month ago. And please call me Jenny. Have you been arguing or having problems? Mm -hmm. We never used to fight. 
What do you fight about? Oh, he just doesn't want to talk to me anymore. And my checks keep bouncing at the bank. When I know there's money in the account, it just seems to disappear. And he doesn't want to talk about it? Mm -mm. Every time I try and discuss it, he says he can't. Does Gary usually keep things from you? No. He was never like that. This is my second marriage, Mr. Adderley, and I want to make it work. Do you have a picture of Gary? Mm-hmm. Nice. How have things changed? All these late nights and his new secretary. Your new secretary? Mm. He transferred his old secretary, Mrs. McCool, to another office. But she'd been with him for 10 years and he loved her. Maybe she needed a break. Maybe. What do you think it means when a man gets a gorgeous new secretary and starts ignoring his wife? Ignoring you? We have a great marriage and a beautiful child. And I want to save it, but well, lately, like, um, since all this started, he, um, he hasn't uh, touched me. Do you understand? Is there something personal that could be bothering him? I don't think so. I mean, he's under a lot of stress, but, um... But there's still a simpler explanation. Yes. Mind if I borrow these photographs? No. Things just don't change this quickly, do they? Jenny, I won't make any assumptions if you don't. Let me look into this first. If I find anything, I'll let you know. I have to know. I don't know what I'll do if I... I have to know. I'll do my best. Mr. Fields' office? One moment, please. Yes, may I help you? B.H. Adderley to see Mr. Fields. Did you have an appointment? No. I'm with Miscellaneous Affairs. Miscellaneous? Affairs. Mr. Fields will understand. Well, unfortunately, he's out for the afternoon. Oh. Do you know where I can reach him? It's awfully important. If this is security, Mr. Fields gets his clearance directly from ISI. So if Miscellaneous Affairs would like to talk to him, it would have to be arranged through Major Clack. Well, maybe I can talk to the Major and we won't have to bother Mr. Fields at all. Good idea. Thank you. Have a nice day. Who was that, March? Oh, just some low-level munchkin for miscellaneous affairs, but I stalled him. Good for you. I'll be back soon. Um, if my wife calls. I know what to tell her. I'll meet you later.
done, Mr. Fields. I'm ready if you are. Slow day? <laughs> yes, sir. Well, how'd you like to make 50 bucks and liven it up? My wife is fooling around with somebody on the eighth floor. Maybe you and me could go knock on a few doors. Sure. Relax. The room's been swept. No bugs. I'm afraid I'm a bit new to this sort of thing. Hmm. Well, I'm not. Are the pellets in the heel? Yeah. Three in each shoe. Uh, do you want to count them? They'll stay in the lead compartments until I can test them at the lab. Well, it... I need some money now. And I thought... Here's a hundred thousand. As a good faith deposit, towards the much larger sum we agreed on. When you deliver the bulk of the merchandise. And I trust that'll be quite soon. Can't be too soon for me. Or for Vito. A collector for the bookmaker. <laughs> a man with no neck and less patience. You know him? I know his type. I said this room was safe. You just can't keep barging in like this. My wife isn't in here, is she? She said she was going to a friend's place to look at a Blue Jays game, but I followed her here. <laughs> Can you imagine trying a story like that? Sorry to disturb you. I'll keep looking. I won't keep you two apart any longer. Let's get out of here. Mr. Greenspan is going to hit the roof when he gets the overtime charges for pulling those files. Is it cousin Jenny's husband? Yeah. Yeah. Is that all? Mora, Jenny's husband went into that hotel room carrying a canvas bag and wearing Oxfords. I watched him come out wearing wingtips and carrying a briefcase. What do you want to bet was in the briefcase? Money. Well, you can't be sure, but that's a heavy favorite. So you want to know what was in the bag? No. I want to know what was in the shoes. What? He carried the second pair in the bag, and he sold them for enough money to need a briefcase. So you want to know what? Sorry, I, I don't understand. No, what? Who? Who's the buyer? Fields is a high up in a power conglomerate that has access to advanced computer programs, rare materials, industrial secrets, and these are the people that buy them. And this guy. I need a marker pen. Oh, well, um, here. Thanks. What are you, what do you do? That belongs to Central Files. That's him. Martin Grant. <laughs> you want aliases? This guy's got more names in the phone book. Suspected of military espionage, smuggling, sale of industrial secrets. And that's the guy that Jenny's husband's doing business with. Well, I'm glad. I mean, from Jenny's standpoint, I mean, it, it is better than if you were having an affair, isn't it? I hate to disappoint you, Mona, but it's perfectly possible for a guy to be involved in illegal schemes and have an affair. You know, affairs can be very expensive. Oh, that would just destroy Jenny Adderley. And I didn't say he was involved in one either. I'll know better when I talk to Clack. Wait. Don't tell me. It's wild goose season again. Trust me, Melville. That has always been a one-way ticket to disaster. That meeting with Major Clack is... What are you doing? I'm making the most important call of your career. Put that down. Major Clack does not want it. Oh, it's ringing. Just say two words. Martin Grant. Quit. Quit. <laughs> I love it, Adderley. I just love it. 
Gary Fields and Martin Grant. What next? Nazis in the secretarial pool. I'm serious, Major. And I'm trying to be. Fields has been through a dozen security checks. He's high up in an industry the government considers sensitive. And Grant met him at a hotel. I know. I know. Fields sold in his shoes. Only you don't know it was Grant, just someone who looked like Grant after you retouched his picture. Adderley, have you ever seen a composite picture of Jack the Ripper? Major. Drop it, Adderley. I won't have this department be made to look ridiculous. Drop it. You hear me? Yes, sir, I hear you. Just one thing, Major. If this is about your car again. No, no. I was wondering if I could talk to Marge. Who? Marge. Uh, I don't know what her last name is. The beautiful agent that you planted in Field's office? Well, she didn't tell me she was an agent. But most secretaries aren't familiar with ISI's inner protocol. It doesn't concern you, and it doesn't warrant an explanation. Understand? Then we are involved in this. We are. You aren't. Dismissed. Fields, please. Commodore Lou is calling. Thank you. Mr. Fields. So nice to speak with you again. Is anything wrong? On the contrary, some things are very right. Six of them to be exact. Your shipment passed all the tests. Stop quality product. I'm very glad. Um, when can we arrange the balance of the shipment? this afternoon at 3.30. I'll come to your office. You want to do it here? Of course. Don't you always conduct your business in your office? Yes. But... 3.30. I'll bring you something special. Something like this. Well? I'll be walking Marianne's Pomeranian for a month. Uh, give me a hint. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, he's a horse player. Right, he's right. on the periodic checklist. He's got phone calls from his office to a known bookmaker, and he's got these large cash withdrawals from his bank account, so... So, I guess he isn't having an affair, is he? Well, let's hope that the female he's interested in has four legs and a tail. <laughs> I've already told you, Mr. Adderley, Mr. Fields does not deal with your department. And besides, he's not in this afternoon. Well, then no one will mind if I look around the office. That door is locked. Marge? Oh, it's you. He must have come in the back way. This gentleman B.A. Satterly, Miscellaneous Affairs. What's Miscellaneous Affairs? Something you haven't had to deal with till now. I think he's on to us. Why are you following me? Just for routine. We'll make this brief. All right. I'm trying to get out to the racetrack. Oh? What time do the races start? 2.30. Mr. Fields, do you know a man named Martin Grant? I don't think so. We have a great many employees, um, uh, subcontractors. And... No, you'd remember him. He's quite a guy. Have you noticed any special security problems here lately? Well, if there's anything we couldn't handle, we'd go directly to ISI. What about the minor things that you could handle? Well, um, I guess I can tell you about this. It's been in the papers. Um, over the past year, we've had a few small uh, plutonium losses. Thefts, actually, from uh, nuclear power plants all over the country. And you call that a minor problem? Well, there wasn't uh, sufficient material to achieve critical mass. No explosions. 
Were the thefts investigated? Yes. And in every case was found to be the work of a guard. And in every case a guard was fired, after which the thefts ceased. Yes, I would call that a minor problem. Was the plutonium recovered? No. Thanks for your cooperation. I just have time to catch the Daily Double. Good luck. You didn't see him come in? Great, you're a prize. Make sure you see him out. Where do you people come from? Central Casting? What? Ah. You have this place so covered, a jaywalker would know it's a setup. Who do you think you're dealing with? And tell that idiot on the roof to get... Adderley, will you stay out of this? It doesn't involve your department. Yes, even Greenspan isn't this incompetent. What time's Grant supposed to show up? In about two hours, so why don't you get back down to the basement where you belong? I think you might have a long wait. Mr. Field's office. Commodore Lewis for Mr. Field. Just one moment, please. Commodore Lewis on one. Field's here. We've got to postpone the transaction. What do you mean postpone? I need the money today. And somebody's got a very thick blanket on you. What do you mean? Federal agents, they're on to you. Well, uh, what, what, what are we... Don't panic. We'll do it my way. Are you there, Gil? Don't run away, Adderley. I have to talk to you. You want to strain yourself, Gil? Oh, he's a wise guy, aren't you? Don't worry, he doesn't contagious. it. Bring your package to the ballpark. 5 a.m. Okay. You sure about this information, Mona? ISI profiles never lie. Well, this one does. The man is not in debt to a bookie. Whatever he is, he's not a horse player. Well, did Jenny tell you that? Because very often the wife doesn't... Fields did. I told him I was going to the track. He said, oh, what time do the races start? And if he was a gambler, he would have wanted to go with you. Well, of course, he could have been busy. If he's a horse player, he wouldn't say, oh, what time do the races start? He'd say, what's post time? Or he wouldn't even say that, because he'd know. I just can't figure it out. Wait, wait, are you, are you saying... Gary Fields deliberately led ISI to believe he was a gambler? No. But you're close. I am? How? ISI deliberately led Grant to believe that Gary is a gambler and a bad one. I gotta see Clack. Is Greenspan in? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he wants to see you. No time like the present. I wanna see Clack. What a coincidence. He wants to see you, too. Must be about the Fields case. He said two words. Martin Grant. You're unduly chipper today, Melville. As a matter of fact, I am. Adderley, what is an order? A command? A directive requiring compliance. Very good. Now, did I give you an order today? I believe you did, sir, but I really think that you should know... Do you recall it? You said drop it. Exactly. Drop it. Drop the Fields matter. And you responded by going to see Fields and totally destroying a carefully planned... Carefully planned? Major, they had surveillance that Grant would have noticed in a minute. Be that as it may, Adderley, it was a triple-A operation, corporate sector. They kept everyone else out of it. Anyone with any brains they kept out of it. It was a very delicate sting. Isn't that right, Major? Grant's been nickel and diming a supply of stolen plutonium. Corporate offered him a large enough supply to get critical mass in one move. Yeah, and you doctored Field's records so they'd fall for the bait. Exactly. Brilliant. He was supposed to pick up his order and make the payment today. But then he saw you. Saw me? What about Moe and Curly and the rest of your gang? I've made what happened very clear in my report. 
What report? It's in channels. There's going to be a full inquiry. Until then, you're suspended. Without even hearing my side of this? Damn it, Adderley, why can't you just do as you're told? I said there were worse assignments in miscellaneous affairs. When your suspension's lifted, I'll stick a pin in the map, and that'll be your next posting. Could you aim for somewhere warm? I'd get the long johns out of mothballs if I were you. Dismissed. Sir, there's something that you should... Dismissed! If you don't mind my saying so, sir, that man has a serious problem. And he's made one for you. You're off this case too, Marge. I'm sorry. What? Whether it was Adderley's fault or yours, your cover's blown. I'll take it from here. I'll supervise the ballpark pickup. What am I supposed to do, sir? Be out at least bunny. And keep him company so he doesn't keep me company. Understand? Dismissed. I should never, ever have asked you to help Jenny. She's your friend. She needed help. Mona, we're going to go on helping her. But you're suspended. You're not. Fields mentioned something about minor thefts from the power plants by guards that got fired. I want to talk to those guards. I'll get right on it. Ladies' affairs. Oh, Jenny, we were just... What, you're sure he... Listen, Jenny, um, you stay right there, and Mr. Adderley will be over right away, okay? No, 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 it's all right. He doesn't have to stay here anymore. Okay. Well? That was Jenny. Gary did not come home tonight. I, I told her you'd be right over. Right. Can I, can I come with you? No. I want to talk to those guards. And, Mona, this place is going to amount to something someday. Jenny's birthday, we plan a party. Maybe it's a business emergency. I called the office when I realized he was late. I called every half hour. It's been five hours. Don't assume the worst. I'm not assuming anything. I know. I don't know where he is, but I know what he's doing. I know. I wish I didn't. He's with her. Jenny, your husband isn't having an affair. I wish I could tell you what he's doing, but I can't. You'll have to trust me. Why wouldn't he tell me? Sometimes when you have a sensitive job, you can't share things. I don't know. I do. Jenny, is your house secure? Yes, but... When I go out, I want you to lock the front doors and stay here. Don't use the phone, because I might need to get in touch with you. And don't open the door to anybody. Is Gary... Is he in some kind of danger? Let's just say he's not getting the help that he needs. Says it's going to be okay. Oh, 
Ireland, my dear, perhaps you better start a fresh pot. We may be here for quite a while. Oh, and we certainly don't want to be interrupted. Now, do we? sponge bath? No, he left hours ago. Um, about those guards. You got the names, good. When can I talk to him? You can't. Two suicides, both by gun. One fell off a building, one car accident, one run over by a power boat, and one drowned. Why hasn't anybody looked into this? No reason to. The thefts weren't up to... Critical mass, I know. But ICOM's computers led them to Grant. And corporate figured that they could use Fields as bait for the sting, but they didn't figure Grant for a killer. Clack should have listened to me. Well, if you want to talk to him, his secretary says he's bowling. No, he's not bowling. He's in for the second try. Only it's not going to happen. Not if Grant's a killer. He's either chasing Fields or he's running for cover or both. we got to find Marge Webson. Uh, she might still be upstairs. Let's go. Marge, you're just in time. Major Clark sent me to keep you two company. We gotta talk to Clark right away. He said you'd say that. We know what Grant's up to. He said you'd say that too. Sit down, please. So, this is miscellaneous affairs. And to think I always assumed it was just a joke. Marge, you got to listen to me. Quiet. I do a single. You know what's worse than working for miscellaneous affairs? Having them work for you. <laughs> just love what you've done to the office here, Mona. Are they, uh, are they all this spacious? It's home. It is tonight, sweetheart. So, you see, madam, your husband was involved in some hanky-panky. But it was commercial and not amorous in nature. I'm sorry, honey. I couldn't tell you. I understand. Look, why drag her into this? I'll get you your money back. On the contrary, my friend. With your wife close by, I don't expect any more surprises from you. Even with us along, you won't get far. Those ISI agents are, are waiting in the ballpark. They'll have good seats for batting practice tomorrow. When I don't show up? They'll come looking. I guess about dawn. Better make some more coffee, Mrs. Fields. We all need to be awake when the sun comes up. It's not going to happen, Marge. The sting has gone sky high. Grant's onto it. He's not going to make the pickup. He's going to run. And he's probably going to take some insurance. You mean a hostage? Gary Fields. Call Jenny. Your outfit doesn't put much emphasis on thinking. Let her make the call. OK, go ahead if it'll calm you down. The clock's got the road accesses and the airports covered. He'll know about that. What about the sea? He owns a boat? Every nuclear plant he's hit has been a coastal operation. That means he's moving it by sea. And yes, he has his own boat. He'd probably head out at dawn. That's 5.45. Why not now? It's too dangerous night in these waters. Marge, you've got to let us... Settle down, Adderley. You put us both on the bench for this one. Oh, hi. What are you doing down here, Dave? Oh, I was doing some cross-indexing, and my voltage started to wave, so I thought I'd check the meter. 
So that important, Dave, get lost. Hey, don't snap at Dave like that, Margie. Just doing his job. Here, let me give you a hand. You know, I used to dab on electronics when I was a kid. Put it my own doorbell once. Here, let me. Bingo. There's Field's car. Okay, but why are you so sure Grant's in there with him? I'm gonna go find out. Oh, no. Wait, can I do anything to help? Yeah. Sorry, Mona. Hmm? There they go, with Grant. Oh. Hang on to yourself, Mona. his austerity program. Well, we're doing okay so far. We're going to lose him on the coast road. Unless... What? We've got to stall him. What? Stall that car. Well, how? Improvise. Start running at nine, sweetheart. Drive on, Jane. Oh, you always sweet. Drive on. <laughs> Join in on the full cruise, but uh, your ticket's only good for eight miles. Do you swim? Look, you don't need Jenny. Actually, I don't need either of you. You're just my ticket to any roadblocks that might be out there. Please. She had no part in any of this. I know. But I'm compulsively tidy about leaving witnesses behind. Now, please make yourselves at home. I'll go and turn the engines on. You go, Mona. Oh, please. I got us into this. And... Stay here and stay dry. Keep the car running. If anything happens, you get out of here fast. Okay. Don't try to be a hero, Adderley. I wouldn't do that. Unless I'm forced.
綺麗だ。You two all right? Yeah. For all the difference it's going to make. No, no, no. Let's not get gloomy. Someday we'll all look back on this as a wonderful adventure. I know I will. Now, if you'd be good enough to cast off the stern line for me, please. Uh, why don't I go all that and you cast off? It's going to be a pleasure watching you drown. That might be a long time coming. The lady behind you has you covered. <laughs> Remember, Mona, wait in the left foot, step onto the right. Please. That gag's about as old as they come. It's worked before. Nice and easy, Mona. Remember, let your footwork compensate for the roll of the deck. Surely, ISI can come up with something more original. We're a little behind the times at miscellaneous affairs. But haven't you ever heard of our... Receptionist attack squad! in every group that simply can't obey the rules. In view of this accomplishment, Mona Ellerby is hereby awarded the Civil Service Citation and recommended for commensurate increase in salary. Oh, thank you, sir. Does this mean I might have a chance at operative training? Mona, be serious. Oh, I don't know, Melville. I'd say she saved ISI's reputation. <laughs> Gosh, Adderley. I mean, you were there, too. What do you say, Major? We'll see. I have something for you, too, Adderley. Yeah, you read it. I come unglued when I see good things about myself in print. Your suspension's lifted. Is that all? Mona. Major Clark, I... I feel Adderley deserves better than miscellaneous affairs. I have my reasons, Mona. There. What? Insubordination. Seems to be catching. I have something for you too, Melville. Your disability bonus for working with your injury. A squash injury? Squash? It was a business-related game. Would you excuse us, please? <laughs> Business related. <laughs> Thank you. 